Today I'm talking about a 24 year habit that has been hurting my life and my business. <laughs> and it's completely ridiculous. It is completely ridiculous. But I would say it might be something we, a lot of us, are guilty of. And I really wanted to share this with you. Welcome to the Love of Fuck Show with Sherry Yazzie. I am a plus size indigenous woman in a world that tells me not to love myself. I fucking do. Here's how I do it. If you are a woman building a socially conscious business that believes making money and doing good in the world go hand in hand, then you're invited to the uprising. It is a safe space to be seen and supported by powerful women doing the work to show up fully in life and business with networking, masterminding, and genius business strategy to help you hit your next level. To find out more, go to belovableaf.com. So that's www.belovableaf.com. B E L O V E A B L E A F dot com. And it doesn't have to be this way. So today I started feeling, and if you're in business, you probably have had this feeling. I started looking around like, ooh, maybe I could find the answer out there. Maybe somebody has the answer besides me because I don't have it. There's something I need to find. And I coach people on this all the time. Like there's no secret. There's no secret. Did I mention there's no secret? Have I also mentioned there's no secret, right? Like there's no secret. There's the way that feels good to you, the way that works for you, the way that's in alignment with you, in alignment with your business, and the ways that aren't. And sometimes we have to like test that out. We have to try it. But what I find is what I do is when things aren't going the way that I think they should, I start looking for the secret a little bit. It's right there. I'm like, maybe someone knows. Maybe I need to hone this or grab this. I need to know this. I need another system, something. And what I found is that's not it for me. Women who are strong, who are really committed to leading with their heart and their principles, if things aren't aligned for us, if we try to stuff ourselves into a system, we buck it, we fight it, we don't like it. And even if we grow our business successfully, because we're high performers and we can do hard things, we don't love it. So I came from a business that was making multiple six figures and I didn't love it. And I was like, okay, I need to build something that I love that feels like my purpose here. And what what is that? And it took me a while. I started trying all different kinds of things. And when I got clear what I wanted to do and who I wanted to help, so I, I help women who are committed to justice, equity, diversity, and inclusion, I like to call them Jedis, be happy and wealthy. And the underlying bit is knowing they are lovable as fuck. Like, that's what I'm here for. That's my mission. Now, do I have some other missions? Like being a mom, being a wife, enjoying my life. Hell yeah. But that's my mission. So then it was like, okay, cool. Now, how does this look? And how do I create this program? And I kept listening to other people. I kept trying to get into their systems. I kept trying to do their coaching. And I would heal a bunch of things. And I still wasn't getting that same kind of traction that I wanted. And it was because I wasn't in alignment. So how do we get in alignment, right? I mean, I've had clients who was like, everything seems to be there. They have the skill sets, they have the audience, they've got everything and yet it's not happening. And it's like, okay, what's happening here? And inevitably, when we start digging in, there's something that they actually do not like about their business. Now, does this mean they need to burn the whole thing down? No, it means there's something out of alignment. Once we put that piece of alignment in, it's like, the floodgates open. So how do we figure out our alignment in things? And it's simple. I had this epiphany today because I went from thing to thing looking for the answer. And I, a woman was talking on a live. And it was a live that didn't even make sense to me. I, like, I didn't understand the title. I was like, what is this? For some reason, I wanted to click it. And what she talked about was, what do you want? And, and she just touched on it for a second, which I teach on that. But it, it gave me an insight, a, an aha. And it was this, if I'm building my business or my or creating my life, doing a whole bunch of things that I fucking hate, don't want to do, don't like, don't want to show up for, it's going to be hard. And it's going to be a fight to keep doing it. So how do I figure out how I'm in alignment? So this, I was literally in bed. Like, I'm, I'm not even going to get out of bed until I have a reason. And then I went, you know what? I would like to make a cup of tea, and I would like Lucky Charms. I don't eat 
a breakfast a ton. I don't eat cereal very much, but I was like, I'm craving some Lucky Charms. And we had them and we had the milk. So I get out my favorite Marvin the Martian bowl. Hi, Melissa. And I'm like, I'm having Lucky Charms and I'm going to enjoy every single bite of this. <laughs> and I sit down, I pour it, pour my milk in, I'm eating it. And I like about an equal almost ratio of cereal to marshmallows, which of course in the Lucky Charms is not, that's not how it's made. So what happens is inevitably I eat all the bits that I like and then there's a bunch of cereal left and I force myself to eat it. And literally today I was like, this is the most ridiculous thing ever. Why am I eating it? Because it's better for me. And why did I think that? Because all the way in my childhood, I was told you can't just eat the marshmallows. You can't just eat the marshmallows. You have to eat the other bits. But let's get real about this. Yes, are the marshmallows pure sugar? Sure. But what's in the cereal part? It's wheat and sugar. Is it, and, and it might not even be whole grain. Is it super good for me? Is it the thing that's going to like, you know, make that whole bowl of Lucky Charms like healthy for me? No. <laughs> and did I even want to eat it? No. Did I feel like I needed more food? No. So I actually just ate what I wanted and drank the milk and threw the cereal away. 24 years of my life since I've been an adult. Okay, so I'm not counting childhood because you're under someone else's roof. They have their rules. Maybe you, you have to eat the cereal along with marshmallows and you can't waste. Who knows? But as an adult, I have carried that along in my life. 24 years, I have forced myself to eat that fucking cereal. Now, I don't eat that cereal very often. Why? Because I don't even like that other part of the cereal and I force myself to eat it. And I was like, oh my God, I'm doing this in my business. I'm doing this in my life. After all the healing, all the things I've done, I'm still forcing myself to live by some rules that are super outdated, not needed, and actually hindering me in what it is that I want. For the longest time, my mantra was, God, angels, universe, show me the way, make the path clear, obvious, and fun. And recently I took the fun out because I was like, I'm not having any fun. So I need to like not put that condition in the world because I'm not having fun right now. I'm stressed in year whatever of this thing that's going on in the world. <laughs> and I'm stressed. And I'm like, okay, fine. Just make the way clear and obvious and I'll take the steps. You can count on me, right? <laughs> <laughs> so my mantra changed and then I was like you know what the problem is I do believe it can be fun and so I need to start having fun so how do I do that I ask myself what do I want regardless of the rules or of someone who taught me a system what, what how do I want to do this how do I want to talk about this what do I want to talk about who do I want to talk to how do I want it to go and so I'm doing an experiment 30 days right because here's the thing, we can get all of the systems, the coaching, the strategy, all of the things. And if we don't have, if we're not asking this question, what do I want? How do I want it to go? Those other things are going to not matter. Because I have been the great student. Who's an overachiever? Me. <laughs> I've learned the thing. I have been, I mean, the the person that they hold up as the testimonial. I've been that person. And yet, so many times in those systems, I actually, they didn't work for me because I was forcing myself to do things that were out of alignment for me. So I'm like, what if I'm in alignment all the time? So over this next 30 days, this is gonna be my question. What do I wanna do? How do I want it to go? How do I want this part of my business to look? How would I like this to be? And this is gonna be real life, right? This isn't gonna be, my real life currently. This isn't going to be somebody who has an assistant who's like, oh, I will just give this off to my assistant and it'll be great. <laughs> this is actually going to be me every day. What do I want to do? How do I want it to go? And so I had my Lucky Charms, threw away the cereal, and I drank my tea and I sat and I enjoyed the view out my window. And then I asked myself, well, what would I like to talk about? And I was like, I want to talk about Lucky Charms. I want to help other women because I know so many of us get stuck in what we should be and what we should be doing and how it should go and the right way. Oh, that you only can have one offer. No, 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 no. You need a tripwire offer that then leads into a middle tier offer that then leads into a high ticket. Oh, you're only selling low ticket? You need a high ticket offer immediately. 
Oh, you have only been going live? You need to do reels immediately. Oh, you do stories? Those are out. It's back to posts. <laughs> You can find anybody anywhere talking about this stuff, and I'm not knocking them. Look, theirs can be some great skill sets, but if you're called to learn how to do reels and be the best at reels, do it. But because you want to, not because you're supposed to. There are people building businesses completely off social media. There are people building businesses in all different kinds of ways. And there's not a secret other than you find what is aligned for you and you take the actions inside the of that alignment again and again and again. It's also what will have you stand out in the marketplace because if you're fully aligned with you, it's not gonna look like anybody else's business. It's not, you're not going to be saying the same thing everybody else is saying. I have yet to see a single entrepreneur come online and do a whole live about Lucky Charms. <laughs> and yet here I am <laughs> because I needed to talk about this. So I'm going to be doing this for 30 days. If you want to follow along, you know, make sure you're following me on social media. It'll be on my stories. I'm I'm doing a lot more on stories, honestly, because I love stories. I love watching them. So that's where I'm at. And um, I'm going to be talking about this on live. So I'm going to be posting it to YouTube, probably my podcast. So it'll just be all over. Oops. And if you're not on my email list and you want updates on when those things go live, you can hop on my email list. You can go to the link in my bio. But if you want to do this with me, and you actually want to have some accountability here around what do I want, right? Because how do we practice this? Because think about it. I thought me just sitting down, having a bowl of Lucky Charms and out of my Marvin the Martian bowl and drinking a cup of tea was what I wanted. But then when I started eating the Lucky Charms, I realized I was going to force myself to eat that cereal until I didn't. And that is how insidious this is. That is how clearly it is woven through our whole lives. How we mom, how we partner, how we business, how we live, how we relax. It is woven through all of that. So if you want to help, if you want help unraveling, and this is simple, this is going to be an experiment where we literally, we ask the question regularly, daily, multiple times a day. What do I want? How do I want it to go? How do I want this to be? How would I like to talk about my business? Maybe you have a launch coming up. Instead of, okay, I need a plan and I've got to have the post and I've got to do this. What if you were like, how do I want to do it? What would I like to do? And I'm not mocking skill sets. If you need skill sets, cool. Learn the skill set. But sometimes, especially overachievers, we think we need more and more skill sets when we literally can be successful with the skill sets we currently have. <laughs> or maybe we need an additional small skill set, something like that. But that's the thing is what do we want and how can we create this in alignment so that we are not only ready and confident to do it, but excited and happy to do it. Like, what does that look like? Do you need a tea break every day? Do you need to take a walk? Do, and again, this is you, not, oh, I need to take a walk because I got to burn off the calories from last night and I've got to do that. Fuck all that. This is because you're like, I want to go out in the sunshine. It's important to me and I feel good when I'm going to do it. So I'm going to go do that. And hey, maybe there's a day you're like, you know what? Fuck that. I don't want to go out in the sunshine. So then guess what? You don't go out in the sunshine. What if we lived our lives seeking alignment? No more like, what's our partner want? What do they need? How's it going to go? How, what we can do? <laughs> That's why we get burned the fuck out. We're trying to guess what everybody else wants while ignoring all the shit we want. So if you want to take that on with me and you want to start getting clear day by day, how do I want this to go? How would I like my business to be? How would I like to market today? What do I even want to do today? Do I want to go to the movies and then take a nap? <laughs> what do I want to do? And how do I want my relationship to go? How do I want to be a mom today? If that's for you, I invite you to come join me in the uprising because we're going to be doing a challenge around this because it's an experiment I'm taking. And I believe in creating things that are for me as well as you, because we're all amazing, powerful women here, right? And if you're not, that's cool too. You can come, I know you are. <laughs> and I'll keep reflecting that back until you're clear you are. But if that's for you, come join the Uprising. The Uprising is 
a business mastermind. It's a beautiful place, but inside the group is where the challenge is going to be taking place. Um, the price for the uh, for the uprising is going up on the 22nd of February, so 2222 two, two, two <laughs> at midnight. And so currently it is 222. Two, two. If you want to come in, you get actual help with your business where you are. And again, alignment. This is a, no one system. This is about aligned help. Matt, we mastermind together and every single woman in there is smart, amazing and wants to contribute. It is a beautiful space. Uh, we just helped a woman with like help her with the confidence to raise her prices. Another woman cr launched a course and she sold it her first time beta out there. And, and I and there was a moment where she's like, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know. And we supported her through it. She did it. She had 11 people sign up and she's launching it again. Like this is the cool shit when you have somebody there actually supporting you. But this is on top of the, all of that is we're doing this. What do you want? How do you want it to go? And we're actually going to be accountable to one another. If that's for you, you can go to levelaf.com forward slash uprising. That's lovely. I can also put it in the comments. I don't know if you can hear it. There's a truck outside revving. <laughs> but anyway, if you can, if uh, that's for you, I'd love you to have you. If it's calling to you, I'm not, this is not open for a ton of people. Literally the limit is 22 women. Currently, there's no, will be no more than that in the uprising because I want this to be a small experience where we all get to know one another and we all help each other lift up. That's the goal. And if you're like, that's too much for me, you can just keep following along because I'm going to keep doing this shit because I want to, right? <laughs> feel free to let me know. Did this hit for you? How did this feel? And if this did, and if you know someone that you want to share this with, please do. Give me love. Give me likes. I love all of that. And in case nobody has told you yet today, you are lovable as fuck just the way you are. And I'll see you another day. To send me your questions or stories, email me at lovableafshow at gmail.com. If you love the show, please comment, like, and subscribe if you're on YouTube. And if you're listening on the podcast, please leave a review and subscribe to help me get this show in front of more women who need to know that they are lovable as fuck just as they are. Check out the show notes or go to lo belovableaf.com. That's B-E-L-O-V-E-A-B-L-E-A-F.com for more of how to unfuck yourself, love yourself, and be happy no matter your size. I said it before and I will say it again. You are lovable as fuck just as you are.